Hello everyone, I decided to make a video on this uh, Horst, um, Horstman DR2 um, thermostat. I just had a combi boiler put in and for the life of me this has really bugged me on how to uh, set it up. And I'll just quickly show you, you've got the number one at the very top which indicates the, uh, the day of the week. And if we scroll through the programs, we've got we click it once okay we've got this is the time 6 30 in the morning from day one to day five at the top this is program one every day so we'll just click on it and it's, it comes on at 6 30. i could change it with the arrows as such and if we go through the program so it comes on at uh, 6 30 in the morning and it has to and it wants the temperature to be 19 degrees this is just an example then the second program from day one to day five um, it switches off at 8 o'clock in the morning, you could change that, and the temperature is 5, so that means it's going to switch off from the 19 degrees which I set previously. The second program um, is going to end with 5 degrees, and then the third program, it comes on again at 6 o'clock in the evening, and again, temperature 19 degrees. And program 4 is when it switches off because 13 degrees is quite cold. So it switches off at uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. This is just an example. It's on my definite settings. And then it goes to program 1 of day 6, Saturday. It comes on at 8 o'clock in the morning. Temperature. Uh, then program number 2 is going to come off at uh, that temperature there. And there's four programs for the Saturday. And there's four programs for the seventh, seventh day, which is a Sunday, obviously. And that's it. And then all you do is you hit enter, okay? And without any settings above the uh, degrees is, um, is basically on to come on with a programmable timer. Now the DRT2 is a very popular model, I've been told. I wanted the wireless one, but the guy who fitted it put this one in. Um, I would have probably put, would have preferred to have paid extra and get the wireless model, but never mind. I just want to show you the, this other feature here. Um, if you click on on the button here, you can you can see uh, the the no entry sign. So that means it's off. The timer is not going to be working. If I switch it around, it just switches off, and this is back to normal in full operational mode. And the light stays on just for a few seconds. If I click on the little hand there, I get a little T, and that is a temporary override. And you see the little flame. It's switching on now, and it's switching on because it wants to, it wants to reach this temperature. If I just click on it, which is 19. If I keep it pressed, I can say temporary and I can put it up to whatever I want. I can hear the boiler already come out, come on at the top of the stairs. And if I press it again, it goes from the T to a P, which is a permanent change. And um, you can get the manual online and I'll try and post it in the, in the uh, description below so you can download that PDF uh, document. Just press it once more. P, T, P, and then nothing. And as you can see, it's switched off because program four is uh, basically, it's only come on if the temperature falls below 13 degrees. And then if I click on here, I'm switching it off. Press it again. It's really, it's really annoyed me, this uh, Horseman uh, DR uh, T2, but it's, um, it's okay. I'm, I think I'm in control of it now and quite happy to set the timer for the whole week to come on whenever I want. Okay, I hope it's helped uh, some of you out there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.